hello everyone welcome to this video in this video we'll be looking at another question so here this question is in continuation with the previous video so here they are saying write out a complete Kelly table for d3 so in the previous video we have studied about d3 this is a dihedral group of order 6 right 3 into 2 2n so there are six uh, operations three of which are rotation and other three are reflection they are uh, r0 r120 r240 l1 l2 and l3 these represents reflection and these are the rotations correct now we need to write the Kelly table for d3 so that means we need to see uh, the composition of each of these uh, uh, operations here would give us what so uh, we have already studied about what is R0, what is R120, what is R240, what is L1, what is L2, and what is L3, right? Now let's have a look uh, how we can create this Kelly table. So here, let's consider some element uh, L1 into R0. First of all, you know, R0 is the identity of this uh, group d3 right so that means any element which is composed with r0 would be the same so you have the same element written over here right in each of the case similarly r0 is also the symmetry so therefore this element would also be the same because uh, the, uh, this r0 would not uh, have any effect on the elements now what about other elements we need to check for each of the individual elements that means we are to look for all these elements which are present here so in order to complete this table we have to repeatedly uh, look at the calculation so first of all uh, for as for an example i have taken l1 composition with r120 so this is l1 and this is r120 right so we need to look at this answer what would come here at this place right this is our aim so let's uh, see what we can fill over here so for as for this l1 what is l1 so you can see here l1 is this triangle a b c right a here b here c here so that means l1 is this triangle now on l1 uh, on the given triangle a b c we are applying this uh, reflection so this c would come to this place we would go to this place so we would have this after applying l1 now after l1 what we are doing we are applying r120 onto this triangle so what it would uh, do it would shift this c to the place of a it would shift a to the place of b and b to the place of c so that means we would have c a b here and now what is c a b let's have a look c a b uh, so our triangle is CAB, right? So CAB is this one, CAB. So that means what is this? This is L2. So the answer is L2 here, right? So we will write L2 here. In a similar manner, you can write all the elements here. For example, let's take another case. Let's take the case when we have R120 with L3. Where is R2? Uh, sorry, R240. R240 is this one with l3 where is l3 this is l3 so that means we need to check what would come here so let's check what would come here right so on the uh, usual triangle a b c if we apply r 240 so that means we are shifting each element by 240 degrees so this b would come to the position of c c would go to the position of a a would go to the position of b right so we have this triangle now we have to apply l3 onto it l3 means we have to take its reflection along this line so that means this b will be kept fixed a would come here to the position of c and c would go to the position of a so that means we would have this now what is this a b c what is this let's have a look a b c is this one a b c so therefore this is l1 so our answer is l1 here so that means l1 would come here in a similar manner you can see all the calculations and you can check your answer with this table this is the Kelly table for d3 right uh, i 
uh, just ask you to pause this video and complete the table by yourself you will be understanding in a greater manner if you do the questions by yourself and then refer back to the video for uh, checking the solution so i hope you understood the this cali table for d3 well well that is it for this video thank you for watching